All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to give you an update on the project, show you where I'm at with the new solar install. I've been working on the wall, getting things ready. Let's take a closer look here. In the last video, I went ahead and removed all the old components from the solar shed, took everything off the wall, and I've hung some hardy back here. But before we talk about this, I want to show you, I used to have um, my power here and I went ahead and moved it over here temporarily. Actually cut out my finished three quarter board right here. Just cut that out and I installed some hardy back over this OSB just to shim things up. I really need a true quarter inch and this hardy back is actually a quarter inch. So it worked out really nice. I brought it all the way down to the bottom of the wall just in case someday I use like home batteries or full power walls. I can use the whole wall and not have to worry about having batteries or electronic components on wood. I used two additional hardy back boards. These come in at three by five. I went ahead and cut off 12 inches. So I have six feet in height and it's about four feet wide. So that's going to fit all my components for solar. And I want to show you the next steps I'm going to take to lay this out. As many of you know, I'll be using an EG4 6000 XP as my new inverter. And that inverter comes with a template, cardboard template. It allows you to position the inverter, figure out where you want to drill your holes and so forth to hang this. Once you get your holes cut, then you can lift your inverter up and go ahead and screw in the inverter to the wall. All right guys, so using cardboard as a template is a great idea. The only thing better is using more cardboard to lay out all my equipment on the wall. Here's some other equipment I'll be installing on the wall, including this six inch four foot raceway and you can see I went ahead and cut out some cardboard if it was new equipment I just went ahead and traced out the cardboard on the boxes this equipment came in if I'm reusing a piece of equipment I just went ahead and cut out new cardboard so I'm going to go ahead and hang all this cardboard first so I can lay out this equipment to get it where I want it to be before drilling holes Here's the cardboard on the hardy backer, all ready for the components to be hung. I went ahead and did that off camera just to move the project along. Just want to add a few tips here. If you're going to hang the inverter, make sure you have a couple of extra hands because it's really heavy. Also, you need really long extensions on your tools to get underneath the inverter. Lastly, also consider getting a good pipe cutter. This one I picked up at my local Ace Hardware. If you don't have a local Ace or Hardware store, I'll leave a link below in the description of this video for my recommendation for a good pipe cutter for your project. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to trace some holes here at the bottom of this short pipe. I went ahead and inserted that. I put it in the center of the hole, and it doesn't have to be perfect because when I go ahead and insert my fitting, you can see there's some play in there already. So I got all my holes traced out. Let's take a closer look now. The next step in the process is to go ahead and find the center of each of these circles that I traced out. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and use one of these drafting circles. You can find these on Amazon. What's interesting on this template is there are lines that you can use to draw your longitude and latitude lines to find the center of each circle. I'll go ahead and remove the raceway so I have more of room to work with, put on a bench, go ahead, trace out the centers of each circle, and then go ahead and punch the metal. I like how this is transparent, just can match up the lines. All right.
I went ahead and put the raceway back on the wall so I could do all my measurements. And I have all the fittings in place here. They're just loose. And what I plan on doing is removing the raceway. I have my cutouts all ready to go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the pipes in, take the raceway off, bring the raceway up and just focus on fitting the EG4 to the raceway with all the pipes. Just a quick note here, I forgot to do the hole for the solar, so I did that while the raceway was on the wall. Super easy to do. I know I did this whole complicated thing with like, you know, tracing out the circles and using that graph. But in the end, on this one, I just, you know, lined up to the middle of the hole, drilled my pilot hole, and then punched it out. So if you don't have the graph and stuff, it's not a big deal. Just try to get in the center of your hole and you're gonna be fine. Guys, gonna move on now to the smaller boxes, the electrical boxes, disconnects, and so forth. Got all my conduit cut, everything's been uh, rimmed out, and it's ready to be hooked up. turned out you know my pipes are straight all the holes worked the pipes the fittings they all lined up with each other and there were really no issues so I might have been off here and there on a hole but it didn't matter because there's enough play in the holes you drill that you can move the fitting around all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the video now I think this is a pretty good place to stop getting this EMT and conduit fit in the raceway and uh, very happy with the look of things. Just trying to up my game here and uh, do the best I can on my DIY solar project. All right, guys, if this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Come on back for more videos, including future videos on this project. Take care. Have a great day.